is this video on? Okay. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about this particular situation I've been struggling with, because I, I swear to God, I can never figure it out. So, I don't know why people have been disrespecting this movie, and I swear to God, it does not make any sense. I have so many good memories of this movie, and it makes a good primary reason why um, it answered my question before of how um, rappers first started when they actually um, got into... Um, the whole scene, um, and it kind of gave me a little bit of a glimpse. Now, besides 8 Mile, which uh, came out back in 2002, I wasn't allowed to watch that, so obviously I couldn't until 2015. Um, I actually watched um, Let It Shine. Now, a lot of people would actually have a problem with this movie, and I don't know why. It makes no sense. Um, the reason I say that is because, again, it kind of give a little bit of a prime evolution of how uh, MCs rock now, at least back then. Um, because MCs were um, known for um, having this um, shallow life, of course, um, which a lot of people can't really blame them because that's how they started. Um, because as they start to get through, they go through a part-time job first and then immediately, immediately do... Um, their MC stuff as a hobby because they will do this stuff as a part-time thing. Um, but only if they're doing it in their own restaurants or anything like that. Cause um, if they're doing like certain uh, jobs that will apply to their um, expectation that has a stage, then they have an opportunity to perform on stage and all that stuff. That's literally them where let it shine gives you that prime example right there. The symbolism is literally right there. And yet people, missed it and it makes no fucking sense and then some of these like I, I don't know why but some of these raggedy ass niggas i'm sitting here like yo are you this fucking stupid and this airheaded come on bro you can't be serious and sitting here and telling me that you can't see symbolism here you cannot be serious you can't see symbolism god damn and you wonder why i fucking hate and when it, i'm not trying to be disrespectful because of course i love my people but at the same time come on yo like you should know about the rap culture yet you don't fucking get it how stupid are you come on man like seriously i remember when they actually did that final mo moment for the uh the final rap battle i remember this and one of these dudes had the nerve to disrespect like uh um cyrus and elson here like first of all you can clearly tell by any means necessary, and it and it shows as a lesson. Again, people are not going to actually think as broad as me, which I should have mentioned earlier. People are not going to think as broad as me um, when it comes to artistic view um, of how the rap culture and hip hop is. But when you're a logical person, you should fucking realize that literally that movie is all symbolism, like. Are you fucking serious? It doesn't take a goddamn kindergartner to realize the fact that these are obviously symbols. These are symbols, damn it. These are symbols. Come on. They're not that stupid. And then here's another thing that's upsetting because a lot of people fail to understand this. Is that when Cyrus um, first mentioned the first one, he was showing his rap skill on stage. He wasn't trying to actually, um, like give him his first attack. He was willing he was willing to do that. But on the other hand, he was also willing to attack at the same time. He knows what he's doing, obviously. So as you can see, he's literally trying to just give his give forth. So as he does it, he does it in a different tone, in a different flow. Unlike some people who actually does it differently. And to be quite fair, if you look at his original opponent, he does it in kind of in a an aggressive and uh, egotistical way. And the reason I bring this up is because a lot of people fail to understand that the only reason the guy didn't won is because <sighs> is that when you realize the end of that rap scene and that particular battle rap scene, you realize that again, it is going back, and I repeat, hear me out, it is literally symbolizing if you tell a lie in a battle rap, your ass is getting exposed. How hard is that for y'all to understand that? Why 
like, I swear to God, these niggas are so fucking stupid. Like, first of all, if you think that they won, that's your opinion. Go ahead. But the fact that you try to discredit Cyrus because he exposed the nigga says a lot about you because you don't know a goddamn thing about the fucking rap culture. You don't know a goddamn thing. And that shows you that you are fucking stupid. Seriously, man. Come on. I swear to God, I get so tired of these dumbass niggas that don't understand the fucking rap culture. And then, here's another thing. If you understand the rap culture, then you should know that symbolism is one of the key things. The key things when it comes to rap. Come on, my nigga. Come on. Oh, it's like I'm dealing with kindergartners when it comes to these niggas. Like, come on, bro. Ugh. I get tired of this shit, man. But yeah, the question that I'm trying to answer for all of y'all is in the title. Is Let It Shine the evolution of hip-hop? And for its generation, yes. Because it showed a lot of kids of what and how MC started. Because otherwise, people would fig- wouldn't have figured out how they actually first started as uh, rappers. And to be quite fair, regular MCs. Because regular MCs take a long time to do like particular roads. Because they have two sections of different roads now. But back then, the only road you had into going into rapping, and I'm being serious, the only way you had to go into rapping is start as an MC and go straight into battle rap. Because once you get into the straight battle rap scene, you better be making sure that you tell the truth for the fullest. Otherwise, they fucking expose you. They expose you every single time. Do not lie. I'm telling you. It's it's bad to fucking do that. Because they know, they know, once they find out what you lied about, they're going to expose you right on stage. And to be quite fair, it's happened quite frequently. So, yeah. So... I'm going to leave this off here, and I'm going to definitely say this. If you guys have enjoyed my little rant, please make sure to leave a like about like, and tell me in the comments what you guys actually think of the movie. Um, if you did think the movie was good, uh, that's up to you. You, if you anything, like, if you think it's good or bad, eh, that's up to y'all. But just remember, it's literally all about symbolism. Like, it's that simple.